is. Hey guys. So recently my buddy Bob and I we went up to um, look at this 76 Corvette advertised locally as a project uh, vehicle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to interject uh, a few comments here and there. You, you may hear some of my uh, remarks while I was inspecting the vehicle and Bob and I we were talking about it. Sometimes I would also chat with the seller and uh, I'll, let you, I'll let you make up your own mind as, as far as what you think this car is worth. I, um, I want to share the asking price toward the end of the video and I'm also going to share my thoughts on how much I think this car would be worth or rather what I would pay for it. Um, every, everyone has a different opinion as to how much something is worth and uh, how you evaluate things and, and so on and so forth. So I'll be back in a few minutes. He's got a Vortec. So he swapped the motor? No, sir. He, he bought it just like this. Oh, okay. Just as you see it. Right. It's got a 52 inch wheelbase on it, I believe. Okay, I think he was wanting the frame and the trans uh -huh. So I didn't know that much about it as far as the new. So we do have a title for it. I think He's still in the ignition, if I'm not mistaken. There used to be an AC car. Yeah. Gotcha. I'm just gonna run in and run back real quick. Yes, sir. Okay, still free to take a look at it. I appreciate it. like they added some kind of uh, a sheet of metal here and then they try to either fiberglass or added some bond or something yeah ouch oh oh right through it well now this is just uh full of rust here Oh yeah. Yeah, this is this is pretty pretty bad. That's too that's too bad. And uh, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff missing here. Huh? A lot of stuff missing here. This is um he was telling me that he turned down uh, they, I think because the, the, the wife, they turned down a uh, $3,000 offer. I would love to be able to... Yeah, they glued this carpet. 
Um, yeah, this is. talked about you didn't know about the bird cage right in here there's it's full of rust oh is it really yeah i got you if, if you look in here and again I'm, I'm just giving you like a heads up sure if you um if you look under here oh okay that is there's supposed to be a bolt that actually is one of the um body mounts gotcha there's another one i'm going to look at back here okay and uh yeah that is I'm not trying to put the car down or anything like okay. that. I'm, I'm just being, being you're, honest. You're in the business. Just, you know more uh, about him than I do. Like I said, I was kind of the grunt working behind it. He was all the brains. So you're not yeah. going to hurt my feelings at all. all right, this one had a, a luggage rack. Mm -hmm. You can tell. Yeah, I don't know. Like said, the, there's the hood over here. The side panels, I think, for the door. Uh, I think there's a couple of the side rails, if I'm not mistaken. The... Oh my goodness. Whew. Yeah, that uh, the seatbelt support here is totally rusty. You see down here, Bob? The, um, here you have actual frame, mm -hmm. but under here you have the, uh, where the seatbelt bolts to. Oh yeah. Look at this. Oh, it's done. It's totally oh. totally done. Yes. Yeah, and this is where the actual uh catalytic converter would, would go. Uh -huh. This is just a cover for for heat. Also over here if you look at the uh core support. Mm hmm You see all those holes down there? Right. That is all rust. Right. Well, that you know me personally, I just I'm not I'm not as met as mechanic, can mechanically inclined as you guys probably are. So the guy that was offering it for us, he wanted to leave the frame and part it out, and I was like, that's not even something I want to have you tackle over here either. So, uh -huh. um, but yes, yeah, uh, I'll talk to his mom. But uh, uh, you just guys looking at these tires. Yeah. In the hood as well there. Well, you got the door panels, okay? Yeah, yeah. I didn't see the luggage rack on here that you were talking about. But. Gotcha. Oh, you got the... Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, wow. Well, we're in the uh, upper neck area. I'm sure you can type where you'll see the VIN number on it. I'll write it down. 
as, as far as where the previous guy had it, I honestly don't know. And you got the original. So, anyway, gems. that's it. What do you think? I would love to hear your thoughts, uh, comments, ideas, and whatnot. Uh, in my opinion, the guy was asking $4,000. Everything is negotiable, I guess. He did tell me that uh, someone offered him 3000 and uh, he did not accept that offer. I told him that if the guy was still um, around, that I would reconsider that uh, because I didn't even make an offer. I, I wouldn't be interested in a, in a thing like this. I mean, there's, there's a few things, of course, that you can uh, sell or reuse and that sort of thing but uh for the most part the uh it's just you know it's not worth anything um and i'm not trying to be uh unreasonable about it i don't think uh just look under there i mean it would you would have to start from from scratch with a car like this and uh yeah you can end up with a beautiful car but it would take you forever and uh <clears throat> i think that um the cost of the uh, restoration, rest mod, whatever you would like to do, it would just be too much. You can find better cars for a few uh, a few extra dollars, and uh, and you would uh, have a lot more fun driving and uh, enjoying the vehicle and w working on it. So again, this is just my opinion. Uh, I want to hear what you guys have to say about it. And uh, I thank you for watching, and um, I'll see you next time. Take care.